All right, end of the work day. I need to actually do a bit of cleanup and I'll do a chit chat cleanup video just like my last one as well. So last time we actually, I actually talked about egg freezing and I'm surprised that so many of you are actually interested in this topic. So. I'm going to dedicate this video for basically the modern woman out there who is very career focused as well, who wants to balance their family life, career life, and also financial life as well. Um, I really hope that this inspires anybody out there who is thinking of doing egg freezing or wanting to know more, or maybe your, your partner is interested in doing egg freezing and you want to be there to support her as well. So this video is for you. So I'm just going to start cleaning and chit chatting and I hope you like it and I hope you find this super resourceful. Please do give me a quick subscribe down below. It'll really help me out and let me know that this is the type of content that you all need. So we're gonna get started. I literally have a huge pile of clothes. I just did laundry. So I'm just gonna chit chat with you all while I do a bit of my laundry and full things, you know, like keep it super casual. Um, yeah, so I guess like, why I really wanted to share about egg freezing is that I find that a lot of women out there are actually doing this in private or they are doing IVF in private. So I just really want to talk about this so it opens up the dialogue for these transparent conversations because I feel like when we do talk about it, there is so much more knowledge that we can share with everyone and who wants to know because the thing is that every single woman is experiencing this there is no exception like the fact that by the time you are 35 your chance of having a kid lowers significantly this is just a fact so i just feel like why don't we just embrace it talk about it get to know ourselves a little bit more and maybe we can be you know more thoughtful with our plans so this is why egg freezing comes along and something else, you know, like I feel like a lot of times people put the pressure on being 30, having everything done by 30, like as in your career, you found the right person to, by the time you're 30, you have had at least one kid by the time you're 30 and that you're financially stable. But the fact of the matter is, is that that is ultra difficult to do these days now. Like I personally find that maybe this is feasible, maybe 20 years ago, I would say it's still feasible. But I think nowadays in like 2023, this is so, so challenging to do, right? Like the fact that, you know, university brings us up to what, 21, 22 already. So we're done that. And then we're grinding our way on our career to so that we become a bit more successful. You know, at the same time, we're saving up money. And at the same time, we need to find this person that we're super compatible with. And, and, and to let you know that all of this needs to be done by the time you're maybe 28 right because the fact that you know when you get pregnant you need to get pregnant for about nine to ten months so that brings you to 29 and you give birth bam 30 right so that is kind of the math that every woman has in the back of their mind right if that is especially if you want kids essentially when did this idea come about was i want to say around pretty early i want to say around 27 28 or so was kind of when i first started to think about egg freezing so specifically was the reason that i didn't know when i am going to meet somebody that i could potentially have a child with right so that is completely different from dating right i always find that you know the person you date does not necessarily mean is the right person for you and the person that you love does not necessarily mean that that person could be a potential great father or mother to your future child so with that said you know i really thought about like what is what is egg freezing you know what goes into it um how do i get started what are the costs and things like that so you know early on i looked into this and i found that the cost was so expensive so at the time when i was 28 i really couldn't afford to even think about this because the numbers as you know are in the five digits so it is quite pricey here in canada so i kind of parked that idea on the side and then around maybe just three years ago when i was around 30 31 i realized that the workplace that i'm per currently part of has a benefit for fertility so for any women out there um, do check your benefits package to see if you have fertility coverage some places do i know of at least two or three places in vancouver 
um, where I'm living in um, that does have this coverage. So do check because it is an excellent benefit if you can tap into it. So um, I basically realized that, hey, this is a benefit that I could tap into and this is something I want to do. So at the time it was, um, 2019 it was at the time and that was just before the pandemic and of course then the pandemic hit and because of that I kind of parked this idea because it just seemed impossible for me to go to clinics and get all of this done when all of this is happening around the world so fast forward to um 2022 so August 2022 I decided to then um you know do my first initial consult um do and uh, get a referral and all of that as i mentioned before in my previous video so this brings me as to why i am doing this all right so it is time to talk about why i am doing this so for those of you who know as my previous video that i am 34 now i am going to be turning 35 this year so 35 is kind of the, like I said before is kind of the mark when the health of your eggs deteriorate right so you have a much lower chance of a successful pregnancy and also a non-complicated pregnancy as well after the age of 35 which is also known as being geriatric but that aside um, so the main reason is that First off, I, I personally want to have two kids and honestly, I feel like I am probably capable of having my first kid on my own, um, meaning that, you know, I would be with my partner and then we would just naturally conceive to have our first child. But the complication comes is when I have my second child, right? You know, but that most likely, honestly, like when I look at the timeline and just thinking in my head, I feel like realistically the fact that I am turning 35 now, the when I do have my second kid, um, logically speaking, it would be by the time I am 38 or so, right? And with that said, I really didn't want to have the risk of my eggs not being as of a good health as they were when I was 34, now freezing them, right? So that is one of the things is that it is not essentially used for my first child, that's not the plan, but you know, you never know, life could th throw a curveball at you, right? But um, the plan is to use it for my second child. If I do want to do have a second child and, and then if that time that comes where I, I feel like I want to use it, I do have that luxury of pulling that frozen egg and putting it into use and going through IVF to conceive a second child. And one of the things that, you know, I'm doing this now is because 34, you're, I wanna say this for a lot of people out there is that 30s is really, really your prime time for your career and myself included. I have seen so many women who, you know, forego their career, um, because they wanted to have a child and one of the top things that they suffer from is coming back to the workforce It is so challenging for women to come back into the workforce after not having worked for a year or a year and a half depending on their maternity leave and then coming back either to the exact same role or even one step below, right? And with that said, you know, it's really challenging, you know, financially, your career growth wise, like there's a lot of setbacks that a woman has um, when you do go on maternity leave. So with that said, I really wanted egg freezing as a way for me to focus on my career um, have a very, very clear vision in mind when I am, um, when I was, I'm, I'm in a relationship now, but when I was looking for a partner, that is something that, you know, I would never, I no longer have the thought of, you know, I need to be married by X date because of, I want to have X and Y child by the end of whatever timeline. I no longer have that concern and I no longer have that need of like, oh my God, I need to find a man ASAP. I need to um, get married by this date. I need to buy a place. I need to have my first child. And then once I'm done my first child, I need to quickly pump up my second child because the timeline is 35 or 36. Like I think having egg freezing like alleviates just the entire stress of having that thought of rushing, like questioning yourself, am I making the right decision? Like you can be so, so clear on your decision making now because you have the power. You're no longer binded by the fact that your 
your your fertility health etc like you have options and that is basically why I decided to go for this and obviously because I have insurance coverage um, but otherwise I would 100% still save up for this um, investment because I do see it as an investment and also to future proof myself and also this is a great insurance if I want a second kid third kid definitely not a fourth kid I know that you know this is quite a controversial topic especially for um, the Asian community or if you are religious um, or if you find talking about sex or fertility is super taboo so I just want to bring this up is because I, I don't live in a perfect world. Like I know so many people out there um, would say things like, you know, you're still young. Why do you need to do this? Like, you know, you, you can like, you can just have a kid, right? It's so simple. But I want to say is that I, I personally definitely do not live in the perfect world, right? And, and I think for my decision making at least for having a child is not just about the fact that, you know, I'm with a man, I get pregnant, I give birth and life goes on, right? I, I think for me is I want to be a very, very responsible parent for my children. So for instance, having a very stable and mature emotional intelligence and my demeanor i want to have a very clear idea of where my career is going to go what that's going to look like how i've established my career and also um, having financial stability being able to provide a home all of the extracurricular activities you know all the trips and all the fun things that you know we could be doing as a family and things like that all of these things require capital resources time personal growth emotional intelligence right and also making sure that i'm proofing future proofing myself that you know everything is going to work out right and all of these things take time and I just feel like if I do egg freezing, it really alleviates a lot of this stress um, and having to meet all of these incredible ideas that we all of us women are trying to fulfill when in reality, it, it really doesn't work out that way, right? Like we don't get to choose the man that we meet. We, we meet them when we ourselves are ready for that particular relationship, right? And same and vice versa, right? Maybe the man that we meet is not necessarily daddy quality. You know, maybe they're just good for dating and that's it. They're not there at the same spot in life as you, right? So there's so many complicated ideas that go into it, right? And of course, the perfect world is that we would be able to find the perfect man that can be both our husband and also the dad for our future child. Um, that, you know, my career has soared between 24 to 28, where I am at a really, really good place in my career. That I am for sure that when I come back from mat leave, I am able to fulfill the same role as before and still be able to climb up and not just do some job that pays money, right? I want to make sure that I have a career that's fulfilling as well, right? And then also capital that miraculously, I don't know how from the fact that when I'm 22 until 28, I managed to save up enough to, you know, purchase a home that is able to provide for a child, you know, have, I don't know, like there's work from home nowadays, right? Like I need more than just two bedrooms because like I work from home, my partner works from home, and if I have a kid, where's the kid gonna sleep? Like, I don't even know. Like there's there's just no way financially, there's no way all of this is gonna work. So, I mean, yes, I would love to have that perfect world as well. But you know, in reality, many of us don't, especially for those of us who have been working on our careers and our personal development and growth, like everything takes time. And it's honestly, it's just so incredibly hard to do all of this in just freaking six years. Isn't that nuts? Just six years, you have to get all of this done. And if you want a second kid, okay, maybe you have an extra two years. So eight years to get all of this figured out. And you know, honestly, by the time you're just 21, you're just really a child. Like imagine taking a care of another child when you are 21 or 24 or 25. That is just, I don't even know how people do it. I don't think I personally can. So, so all in all, 
this is basically the reason why I am doing egg freezing. And I think this message is really going out to those of you who are also women or if you have a partner that you've been with a long time and you're really thinking like, how can I help them through this journey and whatnot? If they bring up egg freezing, how can I have this conversation? I think this is a really, really great conversation starter for a planned parenthood in a better future as well. I know that, you know, obviously we all want the perfect world as I call it, but you know, life doesn't happen that way. And I think what's important is that how can we take this idea of a perfect world, work around it and still build our own life that we love and we want to feel meaningful and that we can just do the best we can with what we've got and i think egg freezing honestly is kind of a solution to that to build the best world that we can with what we've got right and with that said i am actually doing injections very soon um so i may not be on here i will sort of pre-record another video just talking about you know my credit cards and stuff like that but um, if you are interested in this type of content around egg freezing and maybe sharing my personal journey that I have been vlogging as well, um, let me know in the comments down below. And if, you, and if you have any questions around egg freezing, though I am like not the expert in this at all, but I will try my definitely try my best to answer some of your questions that you may have, or if you want to just be like a little support group I'm more than happy to do that as well with that said i will see you all in the next one and thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me with folding my clothes and bye, -bye.